Alrighty, Leos. So this is going to be your reading for September 2019. This is going to be a how does he slash she really feel about me okay so this is going to be like a newer reading on my channel if you guys do like this after watching it please let me know in the comments or just like this video so i know so that i can make it a regular on my channel okay um we're gonna get straight into it quick disclaimer uh this is a general reading so everything i say may or may not apply to you specifically so take everything with a grain of salt okay um, also, if you would like to book me for a personal session, definitely check out my website. It will be listed below as well as my Patreon if you are someone who's interested in weekly and monthly uh, personalized messages as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, also, I haven't mentioned it that much on here, but if you are interested in my pick a card channel, I will have cards above as well as have the information in the description. But I have a pick a card channel. It's Mystical Crystal pick a card tarot so definitely check that out Alrighty, so how does my leo's love interest truly feel about them for september 2019 how does my leo's love interest truly feel about them for september 2019 give me a nine card spread please leo's Leo's love interest. Okay, so the past situation, present situation, their thoughts on the situation, how they think of you, how they feel about you, what they want, what you need to know about them. Okay, um, advice for you and the outcome. And what is my Leo's person's true feelings? Give me two cards for September 2019. My Leo's true feelings. My Leo's person's true feelings for them or their love interest. Okay. So let's go ahead and actually talk about these cards that I laid out, okay? So for the Oracle cards, we have keep an open mind. We also have stay optimistic about your love life. And then we also have romantic feelings. So with these cards coming out, the scenario I'm getting from your person, they're really trying to stay optimistic about this relationship or this connection you guys have. I'm getting a sense of a lot of strife and issues leading up to this point. And for some of you guys, if it's not that, you could just be different than um, what they're usually used to as far as um, dating uh, preferences or expectations and whatnot. Um, and I feel as if I, I just feel as if they're, they're really trying to stay hopeful that this connection could still work though, even though that is kind of the issue here. Um, yeah, I also feel like there may be a little coldness as well as to how somebody's feeling um or there's something that somebody has in their chest and they're not saying it so somebody needs to express how they feel for some of you you're getting to know someone this okay if this is someone newer that you're dealing with the way that they're feeling is like you're different than what they're used to and they're trying to get to know you that's what i'm getting but what i am seeing going into the reading the past situation i have here we have the star card Again, this is that hope energy for some of you. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this person and you were, were trying to. Can I talk? You and this person were trying to remain hopeful for this connection overall. When it came to you guys healing whatever traumas were present or just pushing forward in the relationship as a whole, because there could have been, like I said, some issues that may have came up in the past uh, within your relationship. Yeah. You may have uncovered some things within the relationship. Somebody may have at one point. And I feel as if you guys did try to work on things, even though you did have issues in the past. Now, presently, I am seeing. Let me get this. All right. Presently, I am seeing the seven of swords. So I am seeing that there is a level of deception. So somebody is not telling the full truth about a situation, a circumstance within the relationship. There could even be a level of avoidance, okay, if it's not deception. But I'm definitely seeing either somebody's like cheating 
um, or leaving out important information or just, you know, being very spiteful and weird. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Libra, but I feel like, um, this person, especially if you have kids with them, they may be less than honest, or you could be dealing with somebody who has kids and isn't telling you about it or has been dealing with other people. Okay. Cause I am seeing a lot of people cards coming up here. Okay. <laughs> it's too much. Okay, but what I am seeing for, hold on, this card's not supposed to be here. It could be a Scorpio too with the death card, but what I'm seeing for the thoughts that this person has on this situation, I do have the Six of Swords. So with this, they really want to move to a better space uh, mentally about this. I feel like also for some of you guys, they want to move on. For others of you, they want to move to a better space with you. I feel like they may randomly contact you, um, but they just, right now, I don't feel like they think it's a smart idea. But I feel like they will eventually. Now, what I am seeing for the way they think of you, I have the four of wands. So, no, I think the death card was actually supposed to be there because two cards came out on top of each other um, in the beginning. So the death card actually is supposed to be there. So the death card, like I said, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Let me actually find the death card. hold on okay so I can't find it but the way they think of you with the death card you could be dealing with the Scorpio but I feel like they wanted some sort of like transformation to take place within the situation between you yeah with the ace of swords I feel like they wanted to clear the air as well because they're very confused as to where things are going um they also may have had other situations as well that they were confused about but I feel like they're deciding that they want a relationship with you after you know running into issues with other people or a connection where other people were attached. Um, but what I'm seeing for the way they feel about you, I do have the eight of wands with this. Uh, they want to communicate for some of you. They even want to come travel to see you if you are long distance. Um, they want to let you know what they've been like carrying within themselves for some time. Like they have been like carrying some words they want to express for some time within them and it's like they've been waiting for the opportunity yeah four of coins literally now what i'm seeing for what they want from you with the magician card um i feel like they just want to manifest change within the circumstance of the relationship you guys have now um, they want to fix things because they emotionally care about you and they feel like you guys may have had like a toxic run in the past and they want to balance it out and they want to get back on a better page. Now, what I'm seeing for what you need to know about this person, I do have the four of wands and the two of cups here. So with this, I feel like this person does want a stable relationship with you. They actually do care about you. They feel like you're somebody they could actually see um, themselves in a long-term relationship with, and they just don't want the issues present. Um, if they take that leap of faith with you. And I feel like also they may have went through some issues in other situations and they may have realized that emotionally, they really just care about you. If that makes sense. Now, what I am seeing for the advice for you, I do have the five of swords with the five of swords here, I am seeing that I wouldn't allow, I, I wouldn't allow yourself to go back into situations where, you know, the person played manipulative games before. And if you were the one playing manipulative games, like, you know, not knowing what you want to do, but, you know, talking to the person, like, you know, just playing games and whatnot. I just wouldn't do that moving forward because I feel like emotionally it's just going to lead you in a space of regretting it in the future. Um, if you do so, um, if you get back with anybody who plays games, okay, this could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or an air sign, maybe even a water sign. Um, but what I am seeing for the outcome, I do have the nine of wands with the nine of wands here. I am seeing that you guys will still be feeling like you're at your wits end with the situation. Damn near. This could even be you like hard down still fighting for a connection that you still 
uh, I guess, get a feel for wanting. Like, you, you feel like emotionally this is something you still want to fight for, even though it's been a lot leading up to this point. And for some of you guys, you will be uh, getting attention possibly from a water sign who is still, like I said, a little in their feelings about whatever may have happened with you guys in the past. It may be still energetically hot and cold, but again, I am seeing you guys are going to clear the air. Now, where it goes is going to be on you. <laughs> So that's pretty much what I'm seeing, Leos. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity for what to expect. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like this video. I said video way too many times. Anyways, make sure you subscribe as well. And if you do want to book me, check out my description box as well as my comment section for my information. And definitely stop by at my pick a card channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one.